Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of our nutrition supplementation and, and lifestyle video. Uh, so this is a very long series. So where we left off was on the Walcott metabolic typing system. And we spoke about how Bill Walcott used to work with Dr. William Don Kelly. Dr. William Don Kelly believed that the autonomic nervous system was the only um, master system in regards to regulating all metabolic processes in the system. But uh, Bill Walcott has said he worked for Dr. Nan Kelly and he, st he still personally found that you know, some people still were not getting well with just Walcott's kind of system alone. And apparently he came across a book called Nutrition in Mind by, by George Watson, George Watson uh, a book I actually read. And Watson essentially used to, it's, instead of using the autonomic nervous system and using, using the categories of, I'm just my watch here again to make sure I stay on time. I'll just minus half a minute. Uh, <coughs> instead of using the categories of sympathetic, uh, balanced or parasympathetic, he looked at oxidation rate, so how quickly somebody would actually oxidize their nutrients, and he categorized, categorized them as fast, uh, slow, or, or mixed, in regards to the oxidative rate. Um, and the one kind of, confl well, there was a few, there was two kind of really conflicting areas, was that all of the psychological sort of categories that Kelly had for sympathetics, parasympathetics, and, and balanced, were actually opposite them in regards to uh, the oxidative categories that Watson had. So uh, the psychological traits for a carnivore uh, was opposite to the fast oxidizers uh, that Watson had. The, and the psychological traits for the sympathetic types was opposite to the slow oxidizers that Watson had. Also as well, in Kelly's system, a sympathetic type was acidic and a parasympathetic type was alkaline. In Watson's system, a uh, fast oxidizer was acidic and a slow oxidizer was alkaline. I just better make sure I got that right. So I just flick down a few of my slides here, first of all. And I just make doubly sure that I got that correct. Yeah, so in Dr. William's system, Dr. William Don Kelly's system, sympathetic was acid, parasympathetic was alkaline. Fast oxidizer in Watson's system was acid, slow oxidizer alkaline. So this also conflicted as well. They, they kind of conflicted each other. So Walcott was kind of like, well, who's right? You know, I work with Kelly. I think, do think he's a genius. I do think he's right for the most part. But, you know, George Watson has a lot of research here, a lot of years uh, with dealing with this stuff. And he says he's got a lot of really good results this way. So Walcott essentially came up with what's known as, or what he termed the dominance factor, okay? Which is essentially determining, de determining which system, the autonomic nervous system or the oxidative system, is the main fundamental homeostatic control system of your body. So, just so, so you know, I'll, I'll explain now what a fundamental homeostat homeostatic control system is in just, in just a second now. So actually I need to just flick back a few slides here in my PowerPoint and I'll get into this now. Oh, if I was going the right way there. I was, yeah. Okay, so so Walcott came up with the dominance factor, okay, and again, uh, that is that is determining whether the autonomic nervous system or the oxidative rate is the dominant fundamental homeostatic control system of the body. So, what essentially does that mean? Um, so, the do well, what does the dominance factor mean? The dominance factor essentially means is that any nutrient can produce opposite biochemical influences in different metabolic types depending on which fundamental homeostatic control system is dominant. And again, this is Walcott's metabolic type system. So Walcott believed. The autonomic nervous system or the oxidative system or the oxidative rate could be the, the primary fundamental homeostatic control system of the body. Essentially, that either the autonomic nervous system or the oxidative system was the master regulator of all metabolic processes in the body. Now, Dr. Kelly, apparently from what I understand, did not believe this at all. He was like, there's no way the oxidative rate could be higher up in the hierarchy than the autonomic nervous system. He was like, the autonomic nervous system is the master regulator of the body and that's it. That's end of story. Autonomic nervous system is the master regulator of metabolism in the body. But Bill Walcott decided that he would test out some of George Washington's stuff and you know he will always say that it works. So that's what Walcott Walcott would say. So Walcott believes that the autonomic nervous system or the oxidative rate can be uh, the fundamental homeostatic control system of the body whereas Dr. Kelly was always, it's an autonomic nervous system, okay? So just uh, with fundamental homeostatic control systems, there are a number of them, okay? The main ones, again, being autonomic nervous system, which essentially is a mass regulator of metabolism. The oxidative system, which uh, really controls the intracellular energy metabolism. 
Then you also have a catabolic anabolic balance, which is basically lipo oxidative. These are all in the metabolic typing book by Will by Bill Walcott. And if anyone wants these PowerPoints, I'll just put them in a PDF and send them to you. I might even just put them in with the video on, on scribe.com or something like that. Easy thing to do, like. Um I'm just making sure I'm staying in the shot here. I don't know. That doesn't matter. Who cares? I'd be surprised if a lot of people have watched this far in the series. And if you have, fair play. You're doing good. Hang in there. Uh, endocrine type. So these are all Walcott's metabolic types. So these are things that he's added. Uh, he added things. Endocrine type is, is, is a fundamental homeostatic control system. So that would influence food selection relative to, to weight control. A acid alkaline balance, he believes, is one. You know, re uh, regulates, sorry, reflex homeostasis through the pH of the body. Uh, then we have pros prostaglandin balance regulates inflammatory and immune responses. Constitutional type, which is something I think from Ayurvedic or definitely Eastern sort of medicine. You have electrolyte balance, obviously, you kind of know what that is. Blood type, he believes that blood type is, is but one fundamental homeostatic control of the body, not a main one like some people, like the blood type diet, they'd say like, this is, they would probably believe that that's the main fundamental homeostatic control system of the body, whereas walk up is like, it's just like a, it's, it's like a, a subcategory underneath the autonomic nervous system and the oxidative, right? Whereas Kelly would believe that all of these things were underneath the autonomic nervous system. Uh, steroid hormone balance and, neuro and neurotransmitter balance. They would be fundamental homeostatic control systems of the body, according to Bill Walcott. Uh, another really good thing about, uh, a good sort of thing Walcott's talked about is that metabolic typing to him is patient-specific, not disease-specific. So he gives the example of two patients with the same symptoms or disease, but both can have completely different biochemical dysfunctions at the root cause of their shared symptoms, okay? So that would be one sort of underlying philosophy too of metabolic type. So metabolic type in, in his mind tries to correct underlying biochemical dysfunctions in one or more fundamental homeostatic controls uh, systems leading to chronic degenerative disease. Again, I believe that metabolic type for the most part with, with regard to a lot of what it's saying is spot on in that, in that we are all biochemically unique in that just because two people have the same sort of symptoms does not, does not mean that they have the same biochemical dysfunction or imbalance leading to that symptom, even though they share the same symptom. But again, I just believe that it's very, very, it's so hard to actually know uh, or to just quantify objectively what really is someone's metabolic type. And the other thing about metabolic type is that your metabolic type can change all the time. Uh, so not only, this is another thing that's very important to understand, not only, and I think I actually have, I have a slide coming up in this, so I might, have, I might repeat this again, not only are, are we unique from one individual to another. So not only are my nutritional requirements very different from your nutritional requirements, but my nu nutritional requirements today will be very different from my nutritional requirements, maybe even tomorrow, but more likely, you know, a month from now, next season, next year, because my body is a dynamic system that's always changing. A very simple example of that is, my nutritional requirements on a really warm, hot day here in Dublin, if I'm out up in my local GA club poking around vigorously and I'm having a crack with the lads, is going to be very different to the nutritional requirements where I'm just, it's the middle of winter and I'm sitting down and I'm reading a book and I'm doing nothing. My body's going to require different things. And the very hot, warm day where, let's say, I did a vigorous gym session as well and when I went out poking, I'm going to require more water, I'm going to require more protein, I'm going to require a lot of things. Again, if I was in a block of training where I was really emphasizing hypertrophy, I'm going to need more protein. If I'm if I'm in a time in my life where I'm just where I'm not focusing on, on any particular quality in the gym, I might be in a, a big study phase where I'm just maintaining stuff in the gym and I'm actually doing a lot of studying and sitting down or not as active or not as vigorously active as it could be. My nutritional requirements will be different again. So your nutritional requirements are always changing, uh, even within yourself. Okay, your nutritional requirements are also unique from a moment to moment basis. I'm going to stop the video here in case I run out of memory card and see you in the next video.